Let's game. So I mean time, it's time to dive straight in. That's why you're here. Game hunting, let's get to it. So we just walked up right when we got here and Ricky, we were talking to some people who watched the show, so shout out to them. But they distracted Ricky. Look at this, with tag. Oh my gosh, vintage Mighty Ducks with tags. Also vintage Top Pop. So amazing, I'm getting them both, uh, 20 bucks for both. This is also super cool. I wish the pen was still there, but it's still super cool. Chippendales, Rescue Rangers. Uh, beautiful, and Ricky just got some shirts thrown in front of him. So. Even gaming shit. Shingle switch? Shima Shima, there's gonna be a Shima in there in a minute. Thank you, thank you. I got the hats, two of them. Thank, thank you. you, appreciate it. Oh, <laughs> Ricky said original Nike. Ooh, what's it say on the back though? What's it say on the back, Ricky? Three penny opera. What the? <laughs> <laughs> this is a table full of colors. If you were around in the 90s and you're seeing what we're looking at, this is what the 90s looked like. Color, pizzazz, sparkle, bing, bang, boom, just everything looking beautiful and sparkly. All right, this was just sitting at the table. Let's see, Ricky, does it have a cut cord or anything? Yes, yes, yes. yes. It's still good. It's still good. So there's an NES Advantage right here. Oh, Ricky, look, Punisher. Right here, and then there's also this. This is a vintage one. So we'll keep this together in a, in a little pile and uh, we'll work from there, we'll work from there. Oh look, this too, old Power Rangers squirter. I don't think that's what it's called. <laughs> but one thing I catch is a little bit older. And this is an old Spider-Man article newspaper. This sitting on this table, as old as it is, still intact. I'm like, what? Again, being people who love to collect paper stuff as well, I'm like, I can't believe this is sitting here this old, just lying there. Oh, whoa, what is this? Spider-Man and other hero art from the 80s. Wow. Dude, Ricky, this would be cool to, to frame. That would be you want to grab that? I feel like we should throw it on there. I was going to say, that feels like something that would be correct. I have to buy it. This is the kind of thing where you, as a collector, it's like, it's, it's saving it. It's saving it from the dustbins of obscurity, I think is what they say. So we're picking this up. I'm picking this up. I have to. Spider-Man, I saved you. Who knew? There's a lot of really cool stuff in here. Comics. Look at this. This old Snoopy right here from Macy's. Wow, super clean. Oh, it has batteries, Ricky. This has batteries with it, so it probably talks. Oh, look at these, Ricky. Can I get the upside down kiss thing from Mary Jane now? Oh, I like that, Curtis. Good thinking on the camera. <laughs> right here. Check it out. Oh, Howard the Duck, look at these Mickey Mouse too. Old Mickey Mouse. I'll have to grab these too. Transformers in front of me. Hey, look at this Wheaties box. Jordan. Look at this too. The Disney old Disney Mickey Mouse clock, but it is old as it gets. Super cool. I mean, it's battery operated. I was gonna hold, have you hold it, but it's so heavy. I was like, using it. dude, it's a weight, bro. It's good. Wait, a Viewmaster projector? Viewmaster made projectors? The old Cinderella game? The no, no, no. That's rad, dude. Oh, look, I've never seen this. Viewmaster made a projector. Did you know what? what? No. <laughs> I have no idea. It's in its box, too. That's cool, man. Guys, 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 this is my strong hand. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Game gear with the wide gear. I've never seen the wide gear with it. N64, Jerry, look. Yeah, no clue. Okay. Some goodies, though. Ricky asked about it already. We'll, we'll show, tell you in a minute. They were overpriced. Look at this. Austin Powers Spy Who Shagged Me. Original backpack. This is from the movie. A lot of these are from Regal Cinema from the, the studio, so I'm gonna pick this one up for 20 bucks. All right, so grab a few things, but the one I'm, I think is one of the cooler ones that I like is the newspaper stuff, because I, I framed this kind of stuff before. I know I showed it a minute ago, but I have some of this stuff framed in the uh, the game shed, what's left of it, so I think uh, this will do good in a frame. I, I really enjoy this, this is cool. More Garfield? Good Garfield. I'm diving deep. Oh, look at all this. Oh, so they still have more of that Garfield stuff. I'm always traveling all the time with my backpack filled with electronics. My stuff's always dying. Now I got answers. I got solutions. Basis hooked it up with some of the most high quality stuff I've ever seen. This Blade HD is absolutely stunning, heavy, and powerful as heck. The Blade HD is a high density version of the Blade Power Bank. 10% lighter and 17% smaller than the last version. With a slim profile of 0.7 inches, it easily fits into any bag while supporting simultaneous charging up to four devices. Lighter and thinner design, 100 watts power delivery, status at a glance, emergency charging, two-way fast charging. Looking for a different style of sleek and sexy and beautiful? How about the Amblite Power Bank? 
The basis Amblight 65 watt portable charger power bank is a 30,000 mAh capacity battery pack for fast charging laptops like the 13 inch MacBook Pro from zero to 50% within an hour. That is the most beneficial for me. I'm always on that laptop editing. And downward compatible with devices requiring less power output. 65 watts PD fast charging, five output and three input, super large capacity, intelligent LED display, and multi protection. And you know I got you guys with the code down below. I got 20 bucks off of this and 15% off of this. For the Blade HD, the $20 off discount code is Blade20. And for the Basis Amlite Power Bank, the 15% off discount code is Game15. How much is the fat PS3? Is it the... No. Nope. It's not the one. It's not the one. The Mickey Mouse is sick, but I want to take another peek over there. Garfield is an American comic strip created by Jim Davis. Originally published locally as John in 1976, then in nationwide syndication from 1978 as Garfield. All right, we're back at our... Resident Garfield collector from last week. But I didn't see this. <gasps> Garfield Nightlight. This is a hundred percent a buy, no matter what. Oh, and the bow biters. God, it's hard to say no to the bow biters. I do love the bow biters. So I'm gonna go for both of those. Oh, so this comes in a case. I've never known that. I found this big Chungus style Garfield before, what? but I never knew it came in a case like this. Ah. I've always wondered that. Now, what's this right here? It's like a. a a tote bag. Tote bag or something. Water toys. Okay, I'm gonna keep looking. Oh, more of the bow biters. I'm gonna keep looking at all this Garfield stuff. There's so much cool stuff. Besides there just being like cool Garfield stuff here, it's weird stuff that's Garfield as well. So it makes it more fun to collect for. It's like alarm clocks and shower heads and bow biters. By the way, I love bow biters. You used to rock those things on your shoes back in the day. Such a cool booth, such a cool time. All this pizzazz and love for Garfield. So Ricky, yeah. if you buy that, yeah. you gotta get the refills. That's the refill cups right there. So you get the, the Mario ones of these we have, but that's the refill of the Garfield one. Super cool. That's really cool. Very cool. But Garfield, I hate to admit, I actually like Mondays and I actually really don't hate lasagna. No way, I don't like lasagna as much as you do. I'm sorry, Garfield. I like Otis. Ready for this coloring book? Oh, no way. Ready to see what it is? The, 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 yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. Cowboys of Moon Maze. Let's see if it's all colored and it's not. That's 100% buy right there. Oh, this is cool too. Old Adam's Family little booklet right here. I found, look at this, this glove from uh, from uh, Garfield. But it's in, uh, where, look at it. What? Why are you laughing? How much is this stuff? Uh, oh, yeah. Look at Cowboys of Moon Mesa. You know what that is? No. Oh my gosh, you're a rookie. Oh, I do. It's, it's a close. Super Nintendo game and an arcade game and everything. Uh, those and then these guys too. Just curious. Yeah, here you can you can take them to him if yeah, you want. No, no. Yeah, thank you. My cart's over there. Oh, it's really. Let's go to your cart. Look at this. Check it out. <laughs> I'll show you, Ricky. Look at this, Curtis. You'll see. You'll like my assortment. So I got him down to 100 bucks for everything, which is actually a good deal. So I got the cups, Ricky. Yeah. I got the cups. I got the cups with it. Oh no, I almost just ripped my Spider Man. Uh, the Cowboys of Blue Mesa. Nothing's been colored in Ricky, which is a big deal. That's insane. This is my favorite one that was pulled out, like, randomly when I was digging. Look at this radio shower clock. This radio shower mirror. I got this more comics so right here for you guys. Oh, oh, right there. There he goes. Right there. Thank you. Appreciate it. I mean, you can say whatever you want if I get a discount. Uh, I got a couple of the bow bottles. Oh, dang. I mean, I really love this in the Western Five. Garfield Nightlight Alarm Clock. What a cool... Like last time they had a bunch of Garfield stuff, but not all like this cool of Garfield stuff besides the camera I got. So really cool, huge Garfield collector. So, awesome. What Ricky just come up on? There we go. There we go. There we go. Some. <laughs> hey, there you go. Hey, you know that's awesome. So <laughs> with the crossbow like Rambo. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, Ricky. I haven't finished cleaning this yet, dude, so I'm probably going to find the rest of this. I just have the receiver and all that. Probably, yeah. Okay. And then Pokemon Ruby. Let me see. This may not work. <laughs> Possibly. You know what, though? It, it looks might. like more than more like just rusty than corrosion. Dusty? Dusty? Dusty. And then look, you got a couple Pokemon books, Ricky. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. There you go. Make him an offer, Ricky. How much, Dusty? How much, you Dusty? Oh, my gosh. Look at those claws. Okay. The dust ball himself. 
comes over and as he does, throws down a bunch of stuff. But this is a good bunch of stuff. What's in there? Let's see. Oh, I don't know anything about that, but it's a designer stuff. <laughs> Holy cow. What size are those? Duck hunters. What size are these? I think that's your size, bro. Oh, Dave, let me show you something real quick. How much are you thinking on it all right away, Dusty, before I even What look? do you think of uh, this nest? I've never yeah, seen one like that. It's really yeah. interesting. Frogger. Yeah, like maybe no shit. What, what the freak is that? I never seen that. Before. I never seen that. You know what you're asking on all of it, Dusty, off the back? No, I didn't figure it out, bro. You know. Throw me a thought process right now. Well, let me look that one up, you know? I don't know what that is. I didn't either. It's kind of weird. There's uh, N64 controllers. There's GameCube stuff. There's N64 stuff. Two copies of Kirby Crystal Shards, which, by the way, fantastic game. I love the freaking cover of that video game. By the way, the physical cartridge looks amazing. <gasps> All right, what you want? $30 game. So, oh, there's a lot of, oh, yeah, there's one. But something that Dusty hands out next. Now we're looking at a couple vintage tees in here. Check this out. Vintage Team NT. Single stitch, check out this one right here. This vintage Batman right here, single stitch. It's a youth, so it's smaller, but I mean, there's, there's stretch potential. A youth right there, super cool. Uh, a Raiders single stitch right here, and along with all that other stuff. And we're just seeing what kind of deal. We may, we're at like 380 right now is what he wanted for all of it. Yeah, vintage tees, good vintage tees. Now, in the vintage tee world, let me explain something to y'all. Youth sizes don't go and they're not for nearly as valuable as regular sizes. Size large, extra large, those are the goats in vintage tees. When you get youth XLs, maybe you can stretch them out a little bit, but I picked myself up all of them. I don't even remember what I paid. I think I paid like 350 for everything. Threw it on a pile and said, Dusty, I want it all, give it all, give me your full love, and can I come on Storage Wars? Uh -huh. And then Chris is over here looking at all insane clown posse. I'm a huge judge of Right, yes. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, look at this. It's hard to you see what this one has? Stuff. Yeah, it has a lot of them have the tickets, which is cool. Wow. So, they, I, oh, yeah. I am a fan of Typo Negative, though. You remember Typo Negative? Uh, uh, my, no, I don't. I do not. Wow. They're actually really good. Wow, dude. Really cool. Yeah, That's a, this is hard to find. And Chris officially just bought all of these for a few bucks each, basically. You know what the insane clown posse guys do, the juggalos, when they buy, when they're excited? No, you know? what do they do? Whoop, whoop. Is that what they do? Yeah. Ric Flair, huh? <laughs> Dude, who's gonna give me this? But, wow. Uh, I'm gonna stop there. <laughs> and then Curtis bought this at the other booth. I don't know if I've seen this one, Ricky, have you? I thought I did, but I've seen the yellow one. I've never seen that Have you one. seen this one, Chris? No, I have not. Where have I seen you before? I'm, I'm new. No, but <laughs> quick, you idiot, plug the podcast. Oh, podcast, SoCal, yeah. Oh, oh okay, <laughs> nice. Stupid, <laughs> <Wait>, Chris. <laughs> Sounds like Curtis trying to do the segment. No. <laughs> Stuttering every time. 100%. <laughs> Dude, I listened to him on the last one. Like, the, the first three times he spoke, the entire podcast was pure stuttering. <laughs> <laughs> How much is this? 15 bucks? Well, I think I might buy this for 15 bucks, untested. There we go, 15 buck arenas. But even then, yeah. Let me see, Ricky. <laughs> I, there's, there's no threat. I'm like, I don't even know how to play this. Why does it feel right? Oh, yeah. His dad, Mariachi. What is it, Ricky? Oh, yeah, those are cool. Do you know how much they are, buddy? 20 bucks. That doesn't seem so, bad. I, I, like, I'm, I'm working on a Nintendo, like, setup. I think oh. this would be really dope on it. That would be super sick. Uh, I've got myself some Pokemon shirts. <laughs> oh, Pokemon. Look at this big nipple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that seems doesn't seem bad for 20 bucks. Hey, what's this this camel crew looking at? Oh, come on. <laughs> oh. Oh. Aren't you the same guy who found the Harvey Weinstein stuff? <laughs> I love how he said this. He said no. <laughs> right, you got the speakers. Here, here. You can put them on these. Ready? Oh. Right there on the Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Not on the TMNT, Ricky. Those are the last thing you want to get dirty. You can dirty my Pokemon. Those uh, can go in the wash. It's because uh, Garfield is there. Oh, yeah, bro. You've messed with my Garfield. You messed with my soul. That's why, that's why I was like, dude, I don't want to mess with Garfield. Man, Chris found some crazy art. We really got to get like our game on with like checking out what art is, man, because it can be valuable, it can be crazy, but we really don't know. We're just like clueless out here. So Chris is over here looking at some Krajewski? Krajewski old art print yeah, yeah. posters. From like the 70s, From say. the 70s, really cool. That looks like very like Beatles, Sgt. Pepper, yellow submarine-ish right there. It does exactly It really does. But very like- I'm being uh, gentle, I'm being gentle. Kind of like abstract. Super cool though. How much are you paying for the lot? 60, so there's 11. 60 bucks, okay. Hey, don't point at me. 
so nice. But you said you saw one. One that was online for like 400 bucks. For this one. Uh, similar to this one. Wow. Well, hey, I'm I don't know. rooting for you. You taking that poster too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and people are like, that's a Roy Lichtenstein. And I'm like, it's garbage to me sometimes. So, but it could be like a $30,000 painting for some reason. So, you know, we just got to get better at it. You got to get better at a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> just saying last week I was just talking about how much I love random cartoon Christmas specials this was one of my favorite things and I, I think I've seen this one but it, I'm not talking like jingle which I do like jingle all the way but I'm talking like the weird ooh, Milo and Otis sealed and this one's sealed okay eh, those are not my favorite how does Ricky always manage to buy the biggest items at the swap meet, and I know the items are gonna upset his wife the most. Ricky's looking at buying right now a frisbee golf net, like the actual, the, the hole in one black hole pro. Comes with a bunch of them too, as well. The disc golf. Looks uh, like everything's in there. Wow, Ricky. I think you're gonna do it, dude. Where are you gonna put it? Uh, I brought my trucks, I'm okay. In backyard. Can I, can I film Nicole's reaction? Yeah, definitely. I think it'll be the same reaction you always get. Jared, bleep this out. Ricky wanted this Frisbee golf thing. He wanted it bad. He, he wanted it, I could tell he was gonna buy it no matter what. In my brain, I knew immediately, when, when I see his wife next, she's gonna do what she is gonna do. She, she squeezes my arm and whispers, why'd you let Ricky buy that to have him help some better self-control? You did this to yourself. You did this to yourself. I'm actually happy about this one though. I've heard that about a lot of things through the years. Yeah, I actually say that about everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, this one, like, I'm totally gonna use it. Show up at Ricky's, show up at Ricky's house in a month. Hey, so, uh, how's that thing in the shed going? <laughs> hey, just set him on top of these paintings. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think he actually might have hit a honey hole on these, yeah. for real. Maybe put that in Curtis's, dude, okay. for now. Right behind you. I don't think we have room. Curtis. Right. Thanks, Curtis. Thanks, Curtis. You're the best, bro. I'm sorry. I told him not to. I gotta admit, though, I actually like playing in his backyard. He does have it set up now, and it's pretty fun. Dude, it was a great purchase. I'm gonna tell it you was, that right oh, now. Oh, Curtis. Whoop, 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 whoop. Try to throw it in the box. I'll film it go from ahead. this side. No, you do it. No, because I'm gonna miss. All right, here we go. Thank you. Missed. Ricky, yeah. while, while you were there buying this, yeah. Curtis came up behind us, dude. I didn't even notice. Shoot, what do you get? Look at this, dude, 90s. Ready? Shout out to a viewer of the channel. Holyfield Tyson. Matt. Oh, that is dope. Holy yeah. field. Well, <laughs> Holy Field Tyson 2, 90s. Holy Field Tyson 2? Yeah. Oh, it's their second fight? Wow. Dude. <laughs> oh, why were these guys fighting over a. They, Chris and Ricky both ran to this like a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> oh, is this the one too. from. Uh, That's Santos. This is the one from uh, Nacho Libre, right? Yeah. I thought it was the guy in Nacho Libre. I, I, actually, you're right. It, could it, be. it looks like his mask. It does. It is. You know what I mean? Curtis is uh, reading some books all about what's underneath his pants. Huh. Here it is, ladies and gents. One of my favorites of all time. Do you know what he was asking on at all? 157. Okay. F-16, Fighting Falcon, Columns, which I like better than Tetris, and the Master System itself. Looking pretty good. He got the light phaser. Looks like, yeah, it's got hey, which game is in decent amount of controllers. It's usually a built-in game. Probably Snail Maze, yeah. more than likely. But yeah, what a fun, fun console. Let's see it. What'd you get, Chris? What are you, what are you looking at over there? The metal one? New kids on the block. Can you name any of them? Captain America shit. Oh my God. Michelangelo, Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael. Ronnie? <laughs> yes, yes. Look at his. The real Captain America. Wow. <laughs> He's hard. <laughs> that thing was hard. <laughs> First time Curtis has been that way in a while. Hey. <laughs> so here's what the camel crew picked up. Dang, Wind Waker was in there. How much you pay for it? Too much. Oh, too much. It's an embarrassing amount. Okay, so you paid up. So well, gone, with, gone with the wind. For, tell me about this though. So gone with the wind, first edition. This goes for how much? Eighty bucks. Eighty bucks. Eighty-five dollars. Eighty-five awesome. bucks. It's competition. That's awesome, dude. It's available on my Macari. You like that, baby? <laughs> Single dingle, baby. See, I'm all about the. What do you call this kind of uh, material? When it's like the stripe but not stripe. What do you call this? Uh, what do you call that? No idea. Have you ever seen this before? I want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Chris picked a bunch of these, and apparently, apparently there was some like one online for like four. Yeah, you were looking at. Yeah. 
this one there was one poster for 400. I said it looks so much like like the yellow submarine like Beatles art, yeah, the art style. Yeah, where was the that one? Look at that. Looks so Beatles. This one looks cool, dude. This one looks cool. The chest one. That's rad, dude. Yeah, these are beautiful. Could be a gold mine. You never know. Oh, Link's Link's Awakening. <laughs> wow. Oh, new, Chris, look. New kids in the block. Look. There you go. Ooh, a little pebbles and Bam Bam down there. What's in here, Ricky? Oh, the Super Famicom multi-tab. Is it the Famicom one? I think. No, is it? No, maybe it's not. I might be dumb. Well, I am dumb, but you know. What else we got over here? What else we got? More games, games, games. And what was in here? PS2s. Super yeah, yeah, yeah. Nintendo, Metallica, Metallica, Ooh, Alien vs Predator PC. This is actually cool. Look at this, Chris. Yeah, like this is cool, Chris. This PC, Good, Curtis. Ready? Yeah. Wimp, 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 wimp. You want me to do something for you? Uh, Look at this hot face, guys. Some mo po, po Our buddy Brian has a booth here and there at the Swami, and whenever we go there, he's got good deals. He's got great prices. He has a lot of cool stuff, and he prices it all very well. Uh, Ricky, game, right? what you looking at right now? Tears of the Kingdom, dude. Oh, that's Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah. Who, thought you who thought you'd see the Swami right now? Oh, wow, I thought that was Breath of the Wild. I mean, some would argue it kind of is, but I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> I'm not gonna go there. See wow. You see Have the, the game? Yeah. It's got the game in there, so I mean. Yeah, how much is it? 120. Doesn't seem bad. Not bad. I, I the, oh, it's like, man. It's still sealed. So yeah. The book goes for like 80 bucks he was selling. Ricky's looking at some Zelda Tears of the Kingdom big box, which I think he ends up picking up. I, by the way, I've never said publicly, I never played Tears of the Kingdom. I need to. I like Breath of the Wild. We'll stop. I didn't love Breath of the Wild. Ah. Me blocking the comments. I mean, technically, if you just want the game, you could buy it all, sell the book, and you're good. You know what I mean? But unless you want to keep it collector style. That's but that's up to you, you know? What'd you buy, Camel Crew? Oh, you are the Wii man. Any broken Wiis you needed to test today that we can see if there's any games in? Yeah, I got one. Oh, okay, good, good, good. That's a highlight of my life. But the coolest thing Ricky finds at this booth, which we were all debating if it was gonna be a cool item or not, was a Captain Planet Tupperware set. All right, boys, you think Ricky's gonna show us something cool or that we're gonna be like, dumb? What do you think? Cool. Cool? Cool. Maybe kind of dumb. Joe says dumb. <laughs> dumb. I'm gonna say dumb too. I'm just looking for Tupperware <laughs> for my house, bro. All right, so cool, <laughs> cool, and let's see what else. Ready? Okay, that's extremely oh. cool. That's extremely cool. Captain Planet and the Planeteers is an American animated environmentalist superhero television series created by Barbara Pyle and Ted Turner. I was literally, Rick, I'm not joking. I was like, Duh. okay, I can't even pretend. That's just, wow. Captain Planet, take your wife on a date and put all that in there. Captain Planet, I'm gonna go like this and be like, the power is yours. His power is mine, dude. What a cool find. I, I, I didn't know they made this. You know, when you think about how items back in the day would sell you animate toothbrushes, this and that. Tupperware? Is that even like an environmental friendly thing? Even, I don't even know. I feel like we, uh, <laughs> with the camel crew and all of us, we could easily make up all the different like races and ethnicities <laughs> <laughs> with our group, oh, with all of us, bro. <laughs> I love it. Brown. <laughs> Brown. White. By the power of dirt. Power of yellow. <laughs> Captain Planet, he's our hero. Gonna take pollution down to zero. Um, I think our Swami squad could make up most of the team of Captain Planet. We're very uh, diverse. At Ryan's booth, I, I couldn't believe it. All right, what is this, Ricky? This is, is that like a movie? Oh, it's like a press kit, oh boy. There it was, a Flintstones press kit. And this has the outer shell on it. It has all the different color animations, their color styles, even has some stuff within like how they're gonna dress and all that. Uh oh, that's my world. It is. Bro, that thing's dope. For which version of the Flintstones though? Uh, is it the 90s cartoon? Hmm, okay, let's see how much this is. Okay, yeah, I wanna see how much this is. 
I'm gonna ask about this. I have to pick this up. Flintstones was so awesome. I love Flintstones. It's such a cool show. Very unique show too, because it's old, but still loved to this day. And there was a lot of things in it where people might find it controversial nowadays. So there's some like racially driven stuff. There's, there's them smoking, doing smoking commercials. But I love myself some Flintstones. And I just bought these also Christmas 1988 California Raisins Collector's Mug Set. And I got the Flintstones style guide. Super cool. Let's see if the boys uh, like my purchase. They don't know I'm filming, so let's see if they're excited for me. I bought stuff. Curtis, look. You'll like this that I bought. Look at the Flintstones. Ooh. Check it out. I also got this. Look at this. 80s California Raisins mugs. Oh, nice. You see that, yeah. Curtis? The 90s one, the 94 show. Dang, dude. Paper. Paper. Let's see. Ready? Oh, yeah. Perfect one to open oh, up on. yeah. There it is. Super psyched on that. You know what? Now that I think about it, me and Curtis kind of look like Fred and Barney. Am I Barney? Yeah. Down Barney down <laughs> You're Wilma. Oh. oh. Who's Ricky? I don't know. Bam Bam? He wishes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're back with the Wee Man. The Wee Man from Camel Toe is here. <laughs> and we're going to test. Let's make our bets. What game is in there? Or none? Mario Kart. Mario Kart. I'm gonna go with uh, Wii Sports. Wii Sports. Just Dance. Just Dance, dang it, I was gonna go Just Dance. I'm gonna go Cars, the racing one. Oh. The Disney Cars. Okay, we'll come back when you're hooked up so yeah, I can stare you do this. Okay. <laughs> All right, sir. First Wii, let's see. Okay, it's on, it's working. Do we have anything? Dud? Dud. Dud. You better hope the next one's got some good, bro. Here we go. Here we, oh, uh, uh, oh. oh! L, L, L. Everybody, hey, hey, everybody say hurry up, Chris, on, on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Hurry, hurry up, up, Chris! <laughs> oh. Hey, get your, get your scrap paperwork. <laughs> Would you buy more CDs? It's just all Tupac, so Tupac, Tupac, Tupac. Oh, that's not Tupac, man. dude. I hate <laughs> to break. Right Tupac. That looks like you when you're old. Doesn't this look like Chris when he gets really old? Oh. Wait, that's not Chris? <laughs> <laughs> all right, folks. Today was absolutely wild with all the Garfield stuff, Flintstone stuff, clothing. That it's all hidden. Captain Planet, Dusty's N64 lot, and everything. Crazy day. Everything is happy except. Oh, Curtis. There's the guy. He's right here. He's right here. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks. Say wave back. Goodbye, guys. Thanks for watching. There we go. Oh. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Good day. Fun times. Bye bye. From his